Today's couple fell in love at first sight, Ooh. as in dating sight. She accepted his proposal a year later, but now she's convinced that this perfect gentleman is living a double life. Oh! Before she says I do, she decided to bring all of her suspicions and... Let me hear this louder. I can't hear this. Let me hear it louder. Talk to me loud. I want them to yell at me. That's how loud I want this to be. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with your Kia Shippey and Christopher Green. Ms. Shippey and Mr. Green, you have been together for four years, engaged mm -hmm. for the last three months. You have two children, total one together and, and uh, one from a previous relationship. Uh, you two want to get- He 24? Well, you know what, Chad? Talking about he 24, this boy looked 30. Miss Shippey, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here today because my fiance hasn't worked in the last three months. Oh! It feels as if he's trying to find another job. Oh! But yet he's spending money that we don't have. Uh, we met online. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was great at first. I mean, he made me feel like I was the woman of his dreams. Yeah. You know, just a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Mm -hmm. You know, charmer, Ooh. you know. So everything was great. And then we moved in with each other a year later. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, everything was smooth sailing up to that point until he lost his job. It was cool until three months ago is what you're telling me. Yeah, in a sense, of four months ago. Yeah. Okay, okay. Until I started finding things. Are you, are you just mad because he's not bringing in any money? Or are you mad because other stuff is going on? No, I just feel like he needs to stop being out with his friends so much and really take finding a job seriously. But yet, Your Honor, uh, one day I was reordering my closet, and right. once I was doing that, you know, he likes to leave knickknacks and coins in his pockets before I wash the clothes, and I found the receipt in his pants pocket, and it had 13 items on it with women clothing, uh, jewelry, and shoes that amounts to $4,000. <laughs> And so I never received these things. And when I asked him about it, he said it was for family members and he was getting ready for Christmas. What? Whoa, 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 time out. How you spending $4,000 on Christmas gifts when you ain't even got a job? That, that story don't even make sense right there. How you trying to be Santa Claus and you broke? Even Santa be out here chasing a bag. He be carrying <laughs> one around. <laughs> what are you talking about? You giving out Christmas gifts worth $4,000 without a job. That she don't even make said. sense. Gladly. Um, basically, what was going on with those receipts is um, over the course of time, maybe eight, nine months, I could say, per se, just building up time, I was just kind of Christmas shopping for my family. Uh, I have an extensive family of about seven women. <laughs> And including her, that makes eight. So, I mean, just this year, I was really more bound on just getting women's clothes. I bought a bunch did of... Did you... D did you have a job? I did at the time. Uh, I lost my job three months ago, but okay. I, over the course of about eight months, that's what I've been building up my... But when did you find the, the, find the uh, receipt? I found the receipts about a good four months ago. I'm gonna tell you this, Mr. Green. I've been around for a minute. Oh. I ain't never met a man... Who that? Christmas shop four months out in back dress. <laughs> is that her security guard? Who this guy? She got 007 in the courtroom. He don't look like he going to secure anything. What is this? Who is this guy? My man, all the men I know, Christmas Eve, they darting about trying to figure out what they can buy. I ain't never heard of that. <laughs> never. Hey, this is my first never year actually my doing life. it. He got it for his family members, but he wanted to return it because we were low on rent. That's why I never received these items. But I just still feel like there's something fishy about that. Oh, my goodness. No, it's a whole aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Ms. Shippey, tell me about this letter you found. Okay, well, Your Honor, if you don't mind, be before I get into this letter, okay. because right. there's a right. lot of big secrets. Sure, sure. You know, not too long ago, I came home and I seen that he was planning a Bahamas trip uh, for two. Uh, when I Why we keep hearing about him doing stuff like having two phones, buying gifts, and we started this whole thing on he broke. He ain't got no job for three months. How is all of this money spending stuff keep being the reasons and he ain't got a job? What is going on, bro? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how he's able to afford a vacation for two uh, when 
we're, we're, we're trying to pay bills. We're hard up on cash, you know. It doesn't make any sense. We haven't been too well off, and our relationship is kind of up and down. He says it was a surprise for me, but to go ahead and get into this letter. Nick, may I say that? That now, is her security. To him having this. I'd have my way in that courtroom, and that's the security guy. See, Jerome looked like he, he more strong, more serious. This guy right here looked like a pushover. Look like you dirty his shoe up. He gonna, he gonna start having a panic attack. I don't respect this guy here. The hell is this a GQ model? Guys, he's security. Have you seen this letter, Mr. Green? No, I haven't. Let Mr. Green see the letter. And I want you to tell me whether or not it's a letter you wrote. Don't let anything ruin your love for me. Mm. Because I would never lose my love for you. Hmm. We have an expecting baby other than the two I already have. I can't wait to see if it's... He looked guilty the way he's scratching his forehead. <laughs> How all of a sudden his forehead get itchy? He up to something. Itchy ass forehead. It's a boy or a girl. To whom was that letter addressed? Now, initially, if I could explain the letter to you, Jakia. Uh, what I had done with the letter was originally it was for her. And, um... I was, I was writing it, you know, it was kind of a time when we first got together and I, I liked what was going on with us. And I was going to give it to her. People don't really write letters anymore and stuff. They don't really do that much. And I was, I was planning on giving it to her. But we got into a point in time where it got really bad, you know, and I, I'm not, you know, a spiteful person or, you know, more of a painful person. I'm not kind of like that. But I felt really spiteful that day. I felt really petty. Uh, just truthful, and I, I rewrote it. You know, I rechanged a lot of things. I made sure I put in things. You're yes. saying this letter was to her? Yes, ma'am. And trust then you him. got mad at her, and you tore up that letter, and you wrote another letter to her, same saying letter. mean things. Same, oh, same words. Same, I just, same words. I just put in the part about the baby, and I added her name to it to make it seem like it was towards somebody else. And uh, I mean, I know, it's, I know, it's, I know. It's and very... you did this in June of of, of 2016. Oh, uh, yeah, I did that a long time ago. This corny-ass story. I wrote the same identical letter, but I just wanted to switch a name around to make it seem... That don't even make sense, man! Says June so 2016. Day. Yeah. It's, Got it's some eight. hearts above that, though. Yeah, and hearts. you know, the funny thing is, in between the time you found out we had that letter, and you got that letter here, we had the original. And there's only one date on the original, and there are no hearts. And the date on the original is June 1, 18. I'm confused. What happened? Yana, that's the original you have. Same letter, same stuff. This one doesn't have the heart. We took a picture of it before you got a hold of it to change the date so you could lie to her and lie to me. I just caught you. That's what that is. So we're gonna have to figure out. I guess, well, I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Would you snoop around for evidence if you're suspecting your partner was cheating? No, I just break up with him. Chat, I like how they asking us questions. The other shows don't do this. They asking us a question that now we get to interact. Chat, tell me, would you snoop around for evidence if you were suspecting cheating? Marie's gone. I ain't, I don't need to find it. If I don't trust you, I don't want to be there. Marie's gone. Good. What you want me to do? But tell me about the time you, you busted him having a romantic dinner with someone else. Uh, well, what? Uh, again, uh, it started with the late night text messages at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, the baby might be crying. He's five months now. And, you know, I might get up, change his pamper, but then I see his phone is lit. I have the code to his phone. And I, I always see someone texting, you know, and it's a female, like, uh, when are we going to finish? You know, I mean, they're, they're not, they're so broad you, yeah like, they're, like, not, what, they're not they're not specific really, enough i had my you wouldn't think that he's cheating like why are you letting that slide like what are you talking when we gonna finish what a sandwich a presentation like what are you talking about when we gonna finish get rid of him what y'all talking about while face. she was scooby doing around I, you know, I have a female friend of many years. We were strong yeah, friends, I never met and her. she she claims that she's never met never. her. But I've definitely never many times showed her uh, and brought her to the house plenty of times. No, she you, comes when? Time, 
Mm. When Man. did you bring her? I never met her. Yana. Miss Shippy. I done met all Ms. his family. Miss Shippy. Shippy. If you knew all that, you wouldn't be here to begin you with. Yeah, amnesia's real. <laughs> what did you say? Amnesia is real. Like, but Yana, as Do I Do you said, know what amnesia means? Forgetting. <laughs> she forgot. What did she forget? That she met this girl. Okay. She knows about her. She knows about the relationship. It's nothing I Were can Were you hide. not kissing her? No. I don't like how the judge taking the lady's side here. He lost already. Ma'am, I wasn't. That particular night, she came in town to uh, visit, and we went to an expensive restaurant, a very nice restaurant, to sit down and talk, you know, and really, we were just uh, catching up, getting back to what we usually, you know, get used to. Did you tell her about it? Uh, no, I, I didn't. Jane's coming into town. You remember Jane. I'm, I introduced you no, to No, I did Jane. tell her about Jane coming into town, but and I didn't tell her about And I'm gonna take her out to dinner tonight. Did I you did say that? Her. Yes, ma'am, I did. No, Your no, Honor. No, you didn't. You just told me you didn't tell her. He did not tell me anything. Oh, you're not doing it. Sounds like you didn't tell her. Now you're making up. You trying to slick, slick somebody that you're not Smooth part of that. You, you, you trying to come here and fast talk a woman who spent her life just, just moving words around. You tried to tell somebody who's, who's put people in jail for a living. Everybody that I saw every day was lying to me. And you think you can pull one over on me? No, man, That's no, just no, 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 no. He lost before he even get a chance. Like, you think you're going Vanessa, Vanessa? I've been out here locked in mother up since 1887. You think you're going to play with me? Ah, in my courtroom, standing next to James Bond. You think this is happening here? What are y'all talking about, man? Let him tell a dumbass story. I don't know at all, though. She loves you. She's intentionally blind. I can see very well. Oh! I got 2020 liar vision, and I'm looking right at one. <laughs> Look at this. I definitely, I definitely understand that. The yes, clearly, oh, he's doing head. the wrong thing from the beginning to the end. Yes, you yeah. are absolutely right that he's living a double life. The question that remains is, what the heck are you doing knowing all this information for all of this time and you come in here to ask me, should you marry him? I can't lie, that's a good point. Now, now she talking that facts. Wait, what? Once you have evidence your partner cheated, what's your next move? A, revenge cheat. B, cry my eyes out. C, destroy his belongings. D, end it and move on. What is this multiple choice? I got out of school for a reason. I ain't want to come back to multiple choice. What are y'all talking about? Chat, type right now what's, your, what's the answer to this. What's the answer to this trick question? Once you have the evidence your partner cheated, what is your next move? Everybody is picking D. Y'all going to end it and move on. Well, let me tell y'all the correct answer. You got to choose B. You got to cry that motherfucker. Thugs cry too, chat. That's what Risa do. I'd be like, what are you talking about? What are you going to do? What's your next move? Chat think they got it all figured out until they get in that situation and start crying the river. Y'all acting like y'all all talk. Oh, yeah, I don't need this person. I'm about to pack my shit and go. Yeah, you saying that now until you catch yourself crying. Until you catch yourself grabbing a controller and start tossing it or something. Y'all talking all heavy in the chat. Y'all gonna revenge cheat. Okay, you wanna play? I can show you how we play. I already know what chat doing. Nick, why don't you take him out of here? Huh? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? He came up in here and just lied to my face. And, and, and it's just, it, the lies are so stupid and so absurd. My question to you is, why do you put up with it? He's lying to you. He's trying to lock you down as his wife while he lives another life. He's going to lock you down. I, I heard somebody say this the other day. Monogamy is the lie that I told that woman in order to get her not to leave me while I continue to live the life that I wanted. And that's the lie he's telling you. He sees that you see he's a liar. He sees that you, you, got, you got a baby with him, and now he's going to lock you down. He's going to put a ring on you, and then he's going to do whatever he wants to do. He already got a baby about her, Judge. Stop ruining this for him. He already got a baby with her. What's she going to do now? Now she's going to find a man to take care of her and her two kids? 
she might even have a third or something. I don't remember how the story I mean, goes. really a good guy. No, he's not a good guy. He's really a good guy. She kicked him out the courtroom. Yes, this is what I'm willing to do. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He runs around. He, he tells story. He spends women money on other women. He's living off of me because he ain't got a job right now, and he's feeling real God good about it. And now that he doesn't have a job, he says, shoot, I got to put a ring on her finger because she might just float away. This is how it goes. It's like a script. I get her in the house. She's doing my laundry. This, that, other. Ah, then I can let the job go. And then she's got that baby. So she. Who the hell thinking like this? <laughs> she's talking about this. How it go? They get you up in the house, make you do the laundry. <laughs> then I can let my job go. Wait a minute. Who did this before? Who has ran this game? Is she talking like this a popular strategy? I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this. She's invested, and then when I let the job go, oh, she's getting mad about it, so now I'm gonna put a ring on her finger so she won't go nowhere. I mean, he's an account executive. He can go find another job, but if but I he has it, he's not looking. He's, he's hanging out with his homeboys. That's he's what I'm trying to night. tell you. I just want to tell the truth. That's all I want. So you want She not mad that he ain't got a job. She just mad that he lying. Why do all of these cheating stuff come back to just, why you just ain't telling me the truth? That's what all of these videos keep circling back to. Why you just keep lying to me? That's well, all they want to know. Yes, I'm sleeping with other women. I will continue to do so once we get married. And uh, you just need to learn to live with it. That is what you're looking for? I want to tell the truth about what it is that I found and what he is doing. So and that what are you going to do with that information? I, I will leave. You know, I, I'm not crazy. You know, I don't you're like being You're looking kind of crazy. Okay. You're looking kind of crazy. I don't think you're going to leave. That's what I think. Okay. Prove me wrong. I, listen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is incredible. What the fuck? <laughs> I'd do backhand screen across this stage if you could prove me wrong. Okay. I'd love it. I think. Yes, ma'am. Do you want to attach yourself to a lifetime of chasing a man around? No. Then that's all that needs to be said. This matter is adjourned. Judge Hi. Lynn spent a lot of time. What is this guy? I knew he wasn't security. He literally threw the man out the courtroom so he could get close to her. What is what, what has the security ever talked to the people? What is this little shenanigan game they're running? This guy be doing the nasty with the divorced women when their heart is broken from separating from their man. I know you ready to get back out there. Why don't you give me a call? He think he's slick come here in a suit. His pants are tailored. Super tight pants. Got dress shoes on. New fade. This boy playing games, bruh. Let me hear what he got to say to her. Let me hear it. Let me hear what, he, what intellectual conversation. Judge Lynn spends a lot of time pleading with you about your own future. What's your response to that? I mean, I love this man. We've built a home together. We have a child together. You know, if he keeps lying, then I don't know where this is gonna hit. It's been four years. Four years, four long years, and I gave him my all, so. You willing to stick around for another year, another two years, three years, and just hope for the best, or you think you, you can walk away? Because, I mean, I don't know if he can change. I think I could walk away, but I just want to make sure he becomes a, a great father to our son like he already is, and we just keep that relationship going. I definitely want to stay where and be where, so I'm going to try my best, you know, to prove to her about what's really going on. After the show, Kaya says she took judge advice and left Chris. She still supports him spending time with their son. She says he's a committed father, but a romantic criminal indeed. What happened to her hair? No way she she left the show and cut her hair off to separate her from the man. What is, what's up with girls and cutting their hair off to try and get a fresh start? <laughs> Why do girls think cutting their hair gonna get them a fresh start? Now you just bald and goofy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on?